The San Francisco 49ers have had three small helmet design tweaks since the beginning of the Super Bowl era, but they've almost completely gone off the rails. And fortunately, the fans spoke up and stopped it. We're going to get into that and go over all of these little tweaks. So stay tuned. Steve, what are your thoughts on the 49ers? Well, let's get the obvious out of the way. They are called the 49ers as a nod to the miners in the gold rush of 1849. There's probably a lot of people that don't know that. Do you think? I do. I think we're going backwards quick, yeah. man. People okay. don't know much. Um, I think that they're an extremely winning team. They look good in 2023. And I overall am a fan and have been a fan of the 49ers for a long time. Well, except for when they're playing the Giants. Let's get into this. 1964 through 1995, you had very similar design as the one that we have on our desk right here with a red, white, red stripe. You have the SF overlapping in the logo on the side, but it was a white SF, red, and then just a black border. And that's it. Pretty similar, but subtly different. Yes, that was 1964 through 1995. In 1996, probably the biggest changes came along where the red got darker. So it went from kind of a scarlet red in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and the early half of the 90s to what we call a San Fran red in 1996 through 2008. And not only did the red get darker, but they got rid of the gray face mask. They put on a matching San Fran red face mask on the helmet. And then the red in the decals also got darker to match the face mask. And they put this nice clear in the decals between the black border and the red oval in the side of the decal. So that gold kind of shines through a little bit. And then they had black in their stripe. We should mention too, in 1996, there was a crisis averted prior to that where they were going to swap to this insane logo. It's so bad. <laughs> that the fans spoke up and they rioted. You could argue that the 49ers have made some less than popular decisions over the years, like moving their stadium and well, almost changing their logo designs. Yeah, it's pretty rough. It's actually hard to believe it's from the 90s. To me, it looks like something in the 60s era. It looks like, I don't know, a radio station or some sort of a club. It's, yeah. it's not good. 2009, they got rid of the San Fran red face mask. I'm not happy about it to this day. And they went back to light gray. They also dropped the black in the stripe and went back to a red, white, red. I would like to see the black still in the stripe because you still have the black in the side logo. And I would also like to see either a white, a black, or a San Fran red face mask. Yeah, for what it's worth, of all the teams that wear light gray face masks, I really don't mind it on the 49ers. I mind it. <laughs> I mind it on all of the teams that are wearing gray face masks. I know, masks. I know you do, it, I know. It, it doesn't work anywhere, unfortunately, not in the NFL. This exact helmet here, we have the logo on the front in a 3D bumper that matches the logos on the side of the helmets, but they have actually switched this year, 2023, to a saloon font. Yeah, the bumpers are awesome. These bumpers are great. Those bumpers are great. They yeah. mix them up sometimes. I think that that's great. Everything's great. Everything's great. My favorite helmet is that 96 to 2008 with the San Fran red face mask. Steve, how about you? Sorry, man. I'm going to go with the absolute most current. I like it. I don't know why I like it. I'm totally okay with it. So obviously this one was all about the 49ers. And if the 49ers are not your team, don't worry about it. We did all of the other 31 teams. They're in the playlist.